Wow! What's this? Hello, friend. What happened? You look puzzled. Hi. What's this bag? <laughs> this is not a bag. It's a beehive. Let me first introduce myself. I am Buzz. I am a worker bee. I stay in this beehive. Hi. I am Amber. So you stay in the beehive? Is that your home? Yes. And I live here with thousands of other bees. Are there lot of bees? Hmm. Let's first see how much you know about numbers. Come on, follow me. Do you know What is a place value? Yes. Place value is the value of each digit in a number based on its position. Okay. That's good. Now tell me the place value of the digits in this number. The number 4 is in ones place. Number 2 is in tens place and number 1 Is in hundreds place. Very good, Amber. Now let me teach you what is a thousand. Suppose there are hundred bees in one beehive. Now, if we have ten such beehives, then we will have thousand bees. Now I hope you understand how much is thousand. Oh yes, it's a huge number. <laughs> yes, let's first learn the numbers below 1000. Let's see the basic relation between the place values. First, the relation between ones and tens. 10 ones make 110 and 10 tens make 100. Wow! What a beautiful place. Yes. This is my favorite place in the garden. These flowers are so pretty. Amber, would you like to learn something new? Oh yes, sure. Okay then. Let's represent a number using these flowers. Consider this to be an abacus. with the place values now let's represent the number 2 4 1 the digit 1 is in the ones place and the place value of 1 is 1 so there should be one flower on the ones column the digit 4 is in the tens place and the place value of 4 is 40 That is four tens. So there should be four flowers on the tens column. And the digit two is in the hundreds place. And the place value of two is two hundred. That is two hundreds. So there should be two flowers on the hundreds column. Wow! That was so good. Now I can represent numbers on a backus. Okay. Now let me see if you can identify the number represented using these flowers. Consider this as an abacus and tell me the number. There are two flowers on the ones column. So the number at the ones place 
will be 2. There are 2 flowers on the tens column 2. So, the number at the tens place will be 2. There are 3 flowers on the hundreds column. So, the number at the hundreds place will be 3. So, the number is 3, 2, 2. Very good, Amber. Okay, Amber. Now you know about place values of numbers. Let's move on to the next concept. That is expressing numbers in the expanded notation. Consider the number 1, 4, 6. Now, let's break the numbers as per their place values in words. So, the first digit is 1, which is in the hundreds place. So, it can be written as 100. The second digit is 4, which is in the tens place. So, it can be written as 4, 10. The third digit is 6, which is in the ones place. So, it can be written as six ones. Hope you understand, Amber. Oh, sure. I do understand. Okay, then. Express another number in the expanded notation. Come on, go ahead. So, the first digit is nine, which is in the hundreds place. So, it can be written as... 900. The second digit is 4, which is in the tens place. So, it can be written as 4 tens. The third digit is 5, which is in the ones place. So, it can be written as 5 ones. Excellent, Amber. You are a fast learner. Oh, thanks, Buzz. Hey, these flowers are about to bloom. Oh, really? Hmm, that gives me an idea to teach you about expanded form of a number. How will you do that? Well, these flowers are going to help me teach you. Wow, that should be fun. Yes, so let's start. Let's expand the number 347. The digit in the hundreds place is 3. So, it is written as 3 hundreds or 3 hundred. The digit in the tens place is 4. So, it is written as 4 tens or 40. The digit in the ones place is 7. So, it is written as seven ones or seven. So, we expand the number as per the place values. Isn't it, Buzz? Yes, Amber. You are right. In expanded notation, you write the place values in words. And in the expanded form, you write it in numbers. Amber? Can you guess the number which is expressed in the expanded form here? Hmm, I don't know, Buzz. Okay, no problem. It is very simple to identify the number. Just write the first digit of the expanded numbers. The first expanded number is 700. So, Write down the digit 7. The second expanded number is 20. So write down the digit 2. The third expanded number is 4. So write down the digit 4 as it is. So the number seen on the flower 4 is 724. Okay, I got it. Then, find the number for this expanded form. 
that simple? I have to just note down the first digits of the expanded numbers. The first number is 500. So I note down the digit 5. The second expanded number is 0. So I note down the digit 0. The third expanded number is 2. So I note down the digit 2. So the number is 502. Great Amber! You are correct! Wow! That was quite a lot of information. Let's revise the concept. To learn big numbers, the concept of place value is very helpful. The concept of place value helps you identify the value of every digit in a number. The place values of digits in a number can be expressed in words or numbers. Expanded notation has place value expressed in words. Expanded form has sum of place values of the digits of a given number. You can also express the given expanded number in the compact form.